Charcuterie boards became a big food trend in recent years. A new local business has taken that trend to the next level. Fox 8 foodie Shannon Smith found out how the board babe found success even during a pandemic. Charcuterie, a fancy French word that simply means cured meats, though now it's known more as a grazing board with those meats surrounded by cheese, fruit, and nuts. I think if there are rules, I've definitely broken them. <laughs> During the pandemic, Taylor Hedges built an entire business based on charcuterie, calling it the board babe. It's grown exponentially. I mean, it's really amazing. So I just started posting on Instagram and then kind of got a following and from there people started ordering. 1,000 boards or to-go boxes since she started last March. 300 orders in December alone. Taylor credits her creativity with the quick success. I think how you style it is probably one of the most important parts. I mean, you want to eat something because it looks good and then you keep eating it because it tastes good. Take a date night board. Built for two, it comes with three meats and three cheeses. Taylor rolls the meats and carves the cheeses, carefully placing them in pretty patterns. Then she packs in crackers, fruit, a few sweet treats, and even some unexpected surprises. In the spring, we'll actually be getting edible flowers, and then, uh, you know, different kinds of berries and all different kinds of things to make them really pretty. Looks really pretty. Plus, Taylor's taking these boards way beyond meats. She builds brunch boards with bagels, muffins, and fruits, dessert boards with cakes, cookies, and pies, even hot chocolate boards with a whole lot more than marshmallow toppings. Sometimes I'll do themes, so like for birthdays or babies, weddings, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Super Bowl. Taylor says during the pandemic, people simply pick up a box or board to take home. With restaurants, of course, a hot meal that's set down at your table is better than taking it home. Um, but with charcuterie, it doesn't really matter. As quarantine hopefully comes to an end, Taylor's taking her new business to the next step, opening a sit down spot in this historic home. So this is the Rosenbacher house. It was built in 1908. It's supposedly the most haunted house in Winston-Salem. But Taylor says after taking a big risk, starting a new business during a pandemic, those stories don't scare her. I don't get bad energy in here. I think it's really positive energy and I don't know, I think it's kind of cool, you know, like it has a lot of history and maybe there are spirits here that can look over the business. <laughs> For a look at all the charcuterie creations or if you want to make an order, go to theboardbabe.net, a new location opening up on 3rd Street sometime next month.